through a movable library, a type of movable literary feast that rumbles its way through Cochise County, parking 2,000 books by the side of the road. There's an old verse that goes, books are keys to wisdom's treasure, books are gates to lands of pleasure, books are paths that upward lead, and books are friends, come let us read. And for the rural residents of Cochise County, this is not an idle invitation. Four days a week, the county bookmobile rolls along the highway, dispensing its literary treasures. Today's first stop is the Pomerine School, three miles north of Benson. Well, what have you got there? What's this one? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a good book anyway. Pete Potter on the run. A mystery. Maybe someday you'll be a private detective. Yes. Would you like that? Yeah. How important is the bookmobile to your classroom work? It's very important. We have a very small library here, you know, so this stretches it. And they're wonderful about uh, ordering books for us. So if we're studying a particular subject, we can just get the books. From. Are the children excited when they know the bookmobile's coming? Oh, indeed, <laughs> yes. The bookmobile is not exactly a spacious facility. It's narrow and a little dark. For children, it's probably akin to a trip into one of Alice's wondrous rabbit holes. They shuffle and tumble about, but always seem to surface with a personal treasure. Teddy's, uh -huh. teddy bears go shopping. Oh, looks good. In the bookmobile's 10 years history, this day marks a changing of the guard. It's the first day on the road for driver Ted Weller. John Keene, after over four years as the rolling librarian, is retiring. I got to know the county very well. Back roads and ranches and things like that. This is a big county, isn't it? Bigger than the state of Connecticut and Rhode Island combined. And that's a lot of territory to cover, about 1,500 miles a month. The number of stops per day varies from as few as one to as many as four, but adding up to 40 temporary locations each month. Are you going to miss Mr. Keene? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you like him? He's he nice. Yeah. He'll help he you. He knew all his yeah. 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 Okay, does anybody else have anything they'd like to say in particular? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Why did you take this job? Oh, I enjoy driving for one thing immensely, and uh, plus, uh, I get to go out and meet a lot of people that are a rarity anymore in the society uh, ranchers, um, people that having gravitated towards the city and the money, primarily. The second stop of the day is a trailer court in St. David, where 87-year young Mabel McCauley eagerly awaits our arrival. I love to read. That's my hobby. I don't do like a lady's supposed to do, sit net and crochet. <laughs> I that. Well, it gives me so much pleasure to read, and it takes me out of my problems. <laughs> All of these books are chosen by the driver from the shelves of the county library in Bisbee, the Cochise County seat. The material stocked on the bookmobile varies according to the readers on each route and the time of year. There are fewer children's books on the shelves once school's out. We've provided people with uh, recreation, issued a lot of romance books and novels and that sort of thing, but also information, and uh, you can get people asking most sophisticated questions you can imagine and uh, looking for information even in the wilds. Seeing this is your first day on the job, what do you think so far? No, oh, I enjoy it. I uh, had gone out with John previously and knew then that I loved it just being out and driving and <clears throat> dispensing books to people. I enjoy knowing that other people read, which is not becoming a uh, fairly rare thing these days. Last stop, Curtis Flats. Not an easy place to find. Population unknown. Three mailboxes. 
but the folks out here know how to find the bookmobile. Well, they're uh, always delighted to see you. That's another plus for a job like this, is people are happy to see you. It's, it's one of the few tax-supported programs that people feel they're getting something for their money. John, are you going to miss it? Yes, I am. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss uh, going around, but I will do something else now. John Keene's shoes will be hard to fill. He came to know most of the rural readers of Cochise County by name. He was the best of friends, but then so is a good book, said someone, today and forever. Rolling along in the Cochise County Bookmobile, I'm Dawn Cole.